So there's nothing absolutely worse than trying to click on an app on your phone. And we'll try uh, YouTube and maybe the Ranch Network because you want to watch the, the next upload from the Ranch Network because you're really excited. And this is what you get. Zip, zero, nada. Oh, maybe I want to check my uh, email messages because I have a, an important email that's coming through and I'm out here in the workshop and I have no Wi-Fi. Uh, well, let's see what happens then. What does it say? Looking for an update, 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 update. Yeah, so in other words, you're not getting Wi-Fi out here. You're missing emails. You're missing great videos and uh, need to do something about it. Folks, welcome back to another Ranch Network product review. And today we got the Adalog Dual Wi-Fi Bridge. And I really need one because check this out. We're at the new workshop, which is the old stables, which is the old plant nursery right here. And if you look, here's the workshop. There's the house. And it's quite a ways away. If I had to guess, we're looking at about, uh, maybe 150 feet. So from the Wi-Fi router over to the workshop, it's, it's quite a distance. The cool thing about this Adelov is that it can actually transmit up to like a mile or so away, like three kilometers, which is really far. I mean, we'll be able to hook up one transmitter inside the house and then hook up the receiver in the workshop. I'm sure you guys got this problem too. If you have a garage or a building or whatever that's away from your router, you're gonna get really poor uh, Wi-Fi, right? You won't be able to use your computer, your phone or whatever. And it's really, I mean, it really stinks, right? Especially if you're out in one of your buildings and you just can't get a good signal. We're gonna go inside the workshop and unbox this thing and see what's inside. Okay. I'm gonna let you guys know right off the bat, this is not a tutorial on how to set up this Wi-Fi bridge. It's a review. So I'm gonna put it together the best I can because I kinda of look at uh, the instruction manual as mere guidance. I'm gonna kinda of do what I wanna do as long as it gets the job done. So if you're looking for a tutorial, uh, yeah. So let me see what we got here. It comes with one box two boxes and let's see let's open these up all right we'll start with this box here put on the nerd glasses all right so we got the user's manual for you nerds out there that love reading these things like you're reading the bible uh, more power to you may you be blessed but um, I kind of use it as a guide and uh, I mean you got you got to kind of go with most of the instructions, obviously, to do it correctly. But like most people, I just want to get the dang thing up and working. So here we go. We got the guide here, the user's manual. Uh, we've got a couple couple Ethernet cables. And your Cat6. Yeah, Cat6. Ethernet cables. Very cool. Uh, I, en I ended up grabbing a couple extra cables just in case, just because you never know. I don't want to start setting this up and find out that I, I need an extra cable or two. So there you go. And let's see what we got here. Okay, we've got a transmitter and receiver or transmitter and receiver. Yeah, so we're going to go over that in a second. Um, also, we've got a couple PoE chargers that we can plug it in and uh, get some power going to these here. And what else do we have? We got this uh, this clamp, this hose clamp. I think it either came in this one or this one. I had these boxes open earlier. It's not like I just got this in the mail and opened it up just for you guys right now. I opened it up previously just so I knew what was in here. Okay. And we have some instructions how to set up your mounting brackets. If you need them, you may or may not need them. But regardless, they're here for you. And they're kind of cool. Kind of just mount that to a, a pipe or a wall or whatever. And of course you can uh, tighten them up here on the sides. Very simple, right? You can adjust it. 
anywhere you want. But um, I think I'll use one. I'm not gonna use two because one of these, well, the transmitter will be going in the house. And I, th I think I can just set that up on the shelf or whatever. Um, I don't need to mount it per se. But in here, I will mount one. I will mount one of these. And we've got some uh, uh, clamps. Let me see here. There's, so this clamp actually went with this, something like that. But anyway, I've got four hose clamps and I'm gonna need at least two of these bad boys to go around that, uh, that pipe I got up there. Yeah, so put one there, then one there, boom, against the wall, and then mount the receiver onto here. Piece of cake, right? It also comes with some screws. You can use those for mounting. Um, yeah, so it's kind of cool. It's kind of got this channel here. Check out the channel. So you can mount that directly onto a pipe, but also what you can do, I, yeah, I believe I might be able to take that off possibly, and you could mount it flush onto a wall, whatever. But I've got a, I've got a pipe back here that I'm gonna mount it on, so it's perfectly fine. I think what I'll do, take you guys over to the house, and we'll get these paired up, make sure uh, everything's hooked up and working good. We'll, we'll get the transmitter uh, plugged into the router over at the house, and then we'll set up the receiver out here. And the main thing is, obviously, is they need to be pointed directly at one another. I was actually worried at first because when I got these, I was like, man, does, what, can there be any obstructions? I mean, can it go through a wall or does it got to, I don't know. I have no idea, right? But apparently, I'll be able to set up the transmitter over there and then point it over here to the workshop towards the receiver and it should work just fine. And obviously we're way closer than three kilometers. So that should be, uh, that should be good as well. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's actually, let's open up one of these things here. Let's see. It's got this little tab that you push down, pull this out. So you put these back on again so I can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so in here, right, you see where you got one ethernet port for your, your device. Um, if this is gonna be the receiver, uh, one can go to your computer or whatever. Uh, the other one, uh, ethernet port, the, the wire cable, whatever, will go to your POE, plug this in the wall, that way it has power, okay? Um, also, see right there in the center, hopefully you guys can see that, you've got uh, where you can set your channel, right? So these both need to, need to be on the same channel, whether it be B, C, D, one, two, three, four, whatever. They both need to be on the same channel. One other thing, there's a little switch up here. You can see it, take a look. It's A and B, and obviously, one needs to be set to A, and the other one needs to be set to B, okay? So, I'll have the uh, transmitter set to, to A, and then the receiver set to B, and that should do it. Um, you got a reset button over there, and uh, yeah, I think we could start getting these set up. Yeah, easy stuff. Easy stuff, folks, hopefully. Because like I said, I'm not big on following instructions so much. So we're gonna kind of wing it. Because I know you guys are impatient too. You wanna just get the thing up, get it working so you got some Wi-Fi so you can watch the Ranch Network videos here. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll semi take our time and do our best. I mean, look at these, these are simple. Look at those instructions. They got pictures. I mean, one, two, three, A, B, C. Very simple. And it also shows you how you can set this up uh, to work on multiple, like multiple uh, receivers. So what happens if you got a couple areas, that, you know, that you want uh, Wi-Fi? Set up multiple receivers. There you go. Also, here's the deal. Um, from what I understand, from what I've seen, 
is that the receiver doesn't necessarily have to be plugged in to your device, to your computer or whatever. You can go on your computer and it looks like you can set it up to where you just have Wi-Fi out here, right? Just regular Wi-Fi out where your receiver's at, right? You don't have to plug in, you know, like hardwire right to this thing. You just, you just got Wi-Fi, right? So I could be walking around using my Wi-Fi, you know, whatever. So that's really cool. We're gonna see if that actually is true. But like I said, we'll find out soon enough. Let's go to the house. Okay, so I'm joined by the lovely Jennifer. And uh, we're gonna try to hook this thing up here at the house. Like I said, we just use the instruction manual as a guide. We rarely follow it until we get into a problem. But uh, we're gonna try to wing this one. So we got our POEs here. One, two. All right, and then we've got our router right here, and we already plugged an ethernet into there. I don't need to show you that. You guys can figure that out for yourself. And uh, let's uh, hook these POEs up to our ethernet cables. And now, plug these into our bridges here. Is that a, a or a B? B. That's B, so this is gonna be the receiver. Is that your transmitter? Okay, and see, we got those ports right there. We're just gonna plug it in. And you said on the left-hand side is a good one. There we go. And I'll plug. So it should light right up. Yeah, once we plug and it, it didn't. in. Oh, well, I didn't plug it in yet. Oh! <laughs> Jennifer, what the? Okay, we gotta plug it in still. Okay, let's plug these in our power strips. There we go. So I'm on. You're on? Mm-hmm. Just see. switchers. Yeah. See. Oh, there, there we go. Coming. Okay. So we got a light on. So we know there's power going to both of these bridges. See, look at that. It's already pairing up. Look at these lights. See? When it, when it goes to here, it blinks. Now you know you got some Wi-Fi going on. So these automatically pair together, which is cool. And here, if you look in here on both of them, you've got the channel, and we have our set to channel seven. You can change the channel by pushing this button over to the left. So right now, it looks good. We're both on seven. You got A, I got B. So what we'll be able to do is uh, point this one towards the workshop, and hopefully, no, the, the uh, electronics, the electricity, that whatever is in here is gonna block that. I mean, it shouldn't, right? So we're gonna give it a shot and uh, see how it works. Okay, now that we know this is working, all we're gonna try to do is slide on this back panel or this bottom panel that kind of holds these cords. I'm hoping this is gonna go really nice and smooth. So we're gonna turn the front side towards wherever you're trying to get your Wi-Fi to reach. So if you're trying, you know, off on the property this way, then you wanna face the front that direction. And that's it. All right, guys, so we're up here on top of our shelf. <laughs> and uh, what we're doing is we're mounting the bracket here on this pole. And essentially it's just taking these two uh, hose clamps and uh, using those to mount that bracket to this pole. And it just takes a minute or two. Not too long, it's easy stuff. It's just, it takes a minute, that's all. Got a couple wing nuts on there. Always tighten up your wing nuts, it's very important. Yay, we got that. Good okay, job. that's very stable, So guys. now we just need to mount the receiver to that. <laughs> Folks, I am super excited. The Adelov CPE468 dual Wi-Fi bridge is a success. It was easy to install, and you know what? Now I've got Wi-Fi out here. Before, the inconvenience of having to run back and forth to the house just to check my messages 
or just to check my social media or whatever. It was just terrible. So look at it now. Look at it. You can go to the Ranch Network, subscribe and do all those great things. Check out our review right here. Uh, oh, remember in the beginning of the video where I pressed my YouTube app and there was nothing, no Wi-Fi. Look at it now. Check it out. We've got Wi-Fi, functional Wi-Fi out here. So I want to encourage you guys to go ahead and get this product. In the description below is a link where you can go and purchase yours. And also use this promo code and get 10% off your purchase. Get yours today. This was a success. I dig it. It's a great product. See you guys later.